Weaver gets to the wire first to win by three quarters of a submission. The thoroughbred enterprise of Edward P. Ned Evans incorporated elements of the best old sportsman breeders, as well as the most astute commercial operations. Like distinguished breeders of yore, Evans built upon foundation mares, nurturing and managing their family destinies over generations, and thus racing a succession of major winners in his own colors. At the same time, he exercised the discipline of culling to keep numbers under control and buttress the business model with frequent consignments of sale yearlings. The results were stunning and consistent. More than 100 stakes winners owned or bred since he established Spring Hill Farm in Virginia in 1969, including 2005 Horse of the Year St. Liam and other multiple grade one winners such as Quality Road and Raging Fever. Evans has dominated the Virginia Thoroughbred Breeder Awards and was the Thoroughbred Owners and Breeders Association's National Breeder of the Year for 2009. Through a constant process of critically assessing the ability and performance of sires, dams, and offspring, and the occasional purchase of new blood, the Spring Hill program continually upgraded its stock. This methodical and ever-improving selection process resulted in great success on the racetrack and will continue to do so for years to come. This was no hobby. This, this was a life's work. This was a passion. This was something that he was invested in, you know, to the deepest extent that he could be. And the people that are looking at this as an opportunity to buy or buy into these families, not only are you, you know, buying into a life's work, but you're buying into it at, at a time where it's just the crest of the wave. I mean, everything's got better and better from generation to generation, from year to year, and now we've reached that critical mass of quality and quantity. In this context lies a great loss in one sense, but a great opportunity for the buying public. The life's work of an intelligent and passionate horseman that is just now reaching its full potential will be dispersed to those shrewd enough to recognize and invest in the bright future that surely lies ahead for these still improving families. This overview of success is a tale of many chapters, threads of quality within the collective breeding stock at Spring Hill. A remarkable aspect of the tale is that the bloodlines have continued to flourish rather than expressing a point of brilliance followed by a demise. Families of Spring Hill have retained their potency so that the current broodmares comprise a nexus for contemporary and future distinction. If you look at what he set out to do, and what he did over time. It's remarkable what he did. You know, there's, there's the old adage, breed the best to the best and hope for the best. He showed me that he takes that adage one step further. Breed the best to the best, do the best by them, and great things will happen. And he proved that over 40 years. You gotta have the right mares. You've gotta get in the right families. You've gotta breed them to the right stallions. Then you've gotta do everything you can to control their path to let them reach their full potential, and he did it here. Through all the years of success, of rising tides and winner's circles, the combination of sound horsemanship, quality broodmares, carefully selected stallions, and productive land were orchestrated with rapt attention by Evans. Late in his life, he produced what might be called one of his masterpieces along with St. Leo. This was Quality Road. Classy, consistent, in 1999, Evans paid $1,050,000 for the mare Cobla at the Keeneland November breeding stock sale. The purchase was one of many illustrations that Evans always was attuned to adding quality to his already deep broodmare band when the opportunities arose. Cobla was a full sister to champion three-year-old filly, Agena. Bred to elusive quality in 2005, Cobla produced Quality Road the following year. After victories in the Fountain of Youth Stakes and Grade 1 Florida Derby, Quality Road was a leading candidate for the Kentucky Derby. However, he was sidelined by a minor injury. He returned later and at four soared to three more Grade 1 wins. He took the Don by 12 and 3 quarter lengths, another track record, then added the one-mile Metropolitan Handicap and the Woodward by nearly five lengths. 
Quality Road won eight of 13 races and earned over $2.2 million before entering stud at Lane's End Farm. Now the tale of Spring Hill must take a different turn. The quality remains, but now those many mares and foals present opportunity, not for the masterful horsemen who assemble them, but for a wide range of breeders who recognize and appreciate all that Evans created. On the past, will the future be established? Evans Estate will disperse its thoroughbred yearlings, weanlings, broodmares, and racing stock during Keeneland's 2011 September yearling and November breeding stock sales. Lane's End Farm will act as agent for the dispersal. Horses will be sold without reserve. Proceeds from the sale will go to the Edward P. Evans Charitable Foundation. <laughs>